And this is the way you handle everything you do. This is how it goes. Schools are on lockdown, folks, not the administration. And I love the way I handle things. You're not down here for little old me, are you, officer? I don't know, man. What's your name? Stroud. Uh, your badge number? 53. Thank you, sir. Yeah, for some reason, they're on lockdown here. I can understand the school with our children being on lockdown, but preventing business here and, uh, how do you say that? Impeding my First Amendment right? Yeah. That's eh, not too smart. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know. What to do. oh, I was just up there talking to your chief of police okay. and your Lieutenant Hartley, actually, also. Thank you, sir. See, folks, um, some officials, when they don't like to be addressed, and uh, pretty much they're too chicken shit in order to stand up and handle man things like a man, as you heard previously with uh, Chief Pointer. He's the new chief of the Alma Police Department. That's how things go. You want to talk to Mr. Woolley? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, so he needs you down here to talk to me. Isn't that amazing? That's why I have this, sir. Okay. Both of our rights are protected then. Take us away. Then we'll take us a right. It's right back here. Yeah, it's right back here. Thank you, young lady. I think right here it is. Oh. Right here it is. And this is where everything goes. How you doing, Mr. Woolley? Pretty good. Now, folks, this is Mr. Woolley. He is superintendent of the Alma School District. Now, what you see here is a letterhead of letters sent to me with statutes dictated on allegations of crimes that I have never committed, have no intent on committing. But a school superintendent seems to think that he's going to, how is that, walk on my First Amendment rights. Now, sir, would you like to redact this and inform me that I can come see my family when I choose to? Because all these statutes that you have in here have never happened. And I will not be, uh, how do you say, retaliated against because I confront you on the behavior of your staff. I will not, how do you say, uh, be intimidated or coerced because you have a law enforcement officer here because you seem to think that intimidates me. I can tell by the smug look on your face that you think you're above the law. Mr. Schilt, I'll be happy to talk with you about anything you need to talk about, your children or any other matter. And, and as you obviously know, you have the right to make a recording if you so wish because you are right now. But I also have rights, and, and my rights include not talking to you if you are recording. So if you want- Oh, if, actually- If you want me to answer your questions, you will turn off your camera. Otherwise, I'll just sit here and listen to you talk. 
Oh, no, actually, you don't have the right to not have me record you. You're a public official. That means I had the right through the... Let me just uh, clarify this for you. I, I hey, would you like to... I maybe will, you're aware of this. I will repeat what I said. No, you don't need to repeat it. Hey, well, apparently you didn't hear, sir, because you said if I keep recording, you're not going to talk. So I'd appreciate if you went ahead and you did that until I asked the officer a question. Now, officer, with that... Did the 11th Pella Court not say that any public official in the actions of their work that every citizen has the right to record them? And being that I am here on a matter of a constitutional violation, which you are to uphold your first and foremost action, which if you like to talk to your chief of police, we just got done doing that. I'm not trying to be ignorant. But arrogance gets arrogance. He had a teacher, Janice Wilbank, say that to me. Well, when I pull into a parking lot and I'm handicapped, knee braces, and I also have a disabled sticker in my car, and she tells me I can't park there because it's a public parking lot, and this man does nothing to his professional employee, then that creates an issue for me. Am I correct in what I said? Did the 11 appellate court said that I have every right to record anyone in public capacity doing their job? I can actually come up to you in the middle of a stop 10 feet away and record you. And what can you do, sir? Absolutely nothing. Mr. Schultz, you're welcome to continue to record, but I'm not going to answer your questions as long as you do. All right, well, those who are guilty tend not to. Okay, whatever you think. But I'm done until you turn the reporter off. Yeah, well, no, it won't be turned off because I already know, like when you apologize for kicking my five and six year old children out of school, denying their education, where you all had the arrogance to think that you were going to get away with that and apologize saying about making it work better. You didn't do so. When y'all apologized for my daughter being bullied three years in a row, the third year where it came down to the point that my child came home and pretty much didn't inform me, but she informed said school officials that she wanted to kill herself because of the bullying issue. And oh my God, did I not just find out that there was a child who killed himself because of bullying and the grandparents addressed you and another individual. Now that has nothing to do with our situation right now, but when I, how do you say it, make a financial threat and do file my lawsuit, I guess you will see how dead serious I am. As I explained to Chief Pointer, I don't do violence. For one, I'm too old. I'm not the same spry young man I was when I was 20. And I never believed that anyhow, because unlike most of the hypocrites here in Arkansas, I am Christian. So, no response from anybody? I guess I'm getting disorderly. Would that be the case? Or am I doing my First Amendment right, freedom of speech, and redressing a grievance by government officials? Mm, boy, because I didn't graduate, I do still have a brain. But boy, them book smarts are getting you everywhere. And you can inform your school board, they will be meeting me also next month on said time. And also, the mayor, I guess I have to meet his city council the week afterwards because I'm not going to go through a fourth year of what my children have gone through three years in a row when one of his fellow officers gets assaulted by the same child that assaulted my daughter twice and I don't have any uh, redress of government because the Crawford County Prosecuting Attorney's Office is a bunch of corrupt pieces of crap. Mark McCune being primary on that list. Charlie Baker ain't far behind. He likes me too. No offense to you, sir. Never met you. God bless you. I hope you're a good man. You are being professional. Um, what's your name again? Stroud. This is Officer Stroud, folks. Very, very cordial gentleman and so professional, it's unbelievable. Because as I did explain to uh, Chief Pointer, when I get in moments like this, I apologize, but I am quite the a-hole. So you still don't want to talk while the recording is gone. 
you're not one of those government officials that doesn't like transparency, huh? You have a Freedom of Information Act up there following for all the salaries and benefits of every member for your office, the primary school, um, the intermediate school, and the middle school, and the high school. Now, if you'd like to go with some absurd charge on that, you can do so, but then I'll see you in court after the other court filings are initiated. Now, if you'd like to be a man and you'd like to be decent about it and supply said paperwork decently, as is my right, because you're a public official, and if you don't like your job, sir, Mickey D's is always hiring. The information in your freedom of information request that you left today, every bit of it is available on the Allen School District website. Oh, well, actually, no, it isn't, because I tried to get into it. Yes, sir, it is. And if it is, that's regardless, because I have a right to hard copy papers. No, sir, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. No, sir, you don't. Uh, I guess we'll be addressing right, this in court, right to too. The, you have a right to the information. You have a right to charge me for said paperwork. Yes. I apologize for interrupting you. Go ahead, sir. Yes. You have a right for informa to information, and that information you've asked for is publicly available to yourself and all citizens on the website. Is that correct? I have been on the website. It's not being on the website. The information he just stated to me that... I don't have to get hard copy paperwork from him. He doesn't have to provide it because it's on the website. Is that correct? I have been on the website to see. Oh, my gosh. See, folks, I love double talk. <sighs> Remember, I didn't push me to this action. You have. Janice Wilbanks has. You do not tell a handicapped man he cannot park in a handicapped spot because it's a teacher's parking lot. And I have witnesses to that. Um, would you like any witnesses that you have to come forward? Because I have a right to have my accusers present. Uh, still no comment. See, I'm not shy, folks. I may be an ugly individual outside, and I don't mind being on camera. But I'm about to make this man famous. So we'll go the way we have to go. And if you feel that you want to violate my First Amendments when I come see my children, possibly every day, you go ahead and you do that, sir. And we'll see what I can take away from you. And I'm not threatening your life, but financially, you'll be surprised at what I can do. So is our conversation over? It is as far as I'm concerned. God bless you. I'll come down another day and bring you some more paperwork. And, uh, oh, yeah, just to inform you something else, there is case law that by this conversation here with this man present, and I have made no attempts of violence in any manner whatsoever, you once again were stupid enough to violate my rights. I love moronic people. You have a nice day. Have a good one yourself, sir. Okay. Oh, I doubt that very much with the arrogance of uh, said dumbass back there. In case you'd like to know, that's called freedom of speech. And folks, I got more to come because a lot of corruption here in Arkansas, it's gonna stop. Have a nice day.